piece of ground manners or ground handling I want horses to understand is actually just my personal space. So I always start with disengaging the hindquarters so I can at least have some control over the horse and have the ability to move them. Uh, but we often see horses that crowd on top of their owners. And I'm gonna kind of just use this hula hoop more as a mental or a, I guess a, a visual demonstration of what I mean. So if I think of my space as all of the space around me with this hula hoop, Essentially, wherever I move around the horse, that horse should never go into my space past this hula hoop, okay? So we're gonna have you guys imagine that you have a hula hoop on you and your horse is never allowed to get into the hula hoop space, okay? So I should never have my horse crowding up against me, kind of pushing on me. His job is always to stay that distance away from me. That's really, really important for horses to understand. Now I am allowed to come inside of his space and pet him and do those sort of things, but my horse is never allowed to push his body into this space, okay? So if I, <laughs> Arnold's like, what is this with the hula hoop? So <laughs> if I was walking towards Arnold, and he might think this is a little crazy, I wouldn't actually be moving a horse with a hula hoop, but that's the idea, that if I walk towards him, he needs to get out of my space. That's his job to get out of my space. So again, we're not actually going to train our horses with hula hoops, although maybe you could, I don't know, it might be a new thing. But it's the idea, again, that if I am walking towards him, Arnold needs to stay out of my space. I should never actually run into Arnold.